Latour alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Okay, guys. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Well, they are underway, scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Teddy, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last long. But what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. Carries that punch intended for the head. Gets rid of that body shot. Now he ties up there. Halfway through this round. Vargas is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Accurate hook. Two guys with bad intentions now facing each other here. You know, the old timers would say it's harder to miss these guys than it is to hit them. Miss with that headshot. Vargas is now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Oh, it really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Get in there. Now hugging on the inside. Forceful hook by Vargas. Oh, keep your feet moving. Vicious's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Last 10 seconds of this first round. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten them up. He's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see underway keeps his hands up defensively protecting the head goes up top with a right hand
Vargas's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Vicious's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. He just missed that shot up top. Little head knocking with that right hand. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. that hook over but couldn't turn it into a connect good way to protect the midsection finish with a hook Vargas is just punching air that time his opponent was able to get out of the way Good block by Vargas. Right hand downstairs. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Off target with that hook. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Gotta keep working. And round number three is underway. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Great movement to get away from those punches. Good defense, just covering up down low. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. There you go. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. with the right hand. Vicious is showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. Hey, 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 let's go! Oh, what a hook upstairs!
Vargas is able to avoid that punch. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Nice block by Vargas. Vargas's punch is far off the target. Final 10 seconds. All right, you want this fight? Because listen to me, man. You, we got it. If you want this fight, you got it. Keep circling, keep circling, don't stand in front of it. Beautiful, beautiful, nice movement. Keep that up, keep moving. You don't need that, no, throw that away. Vicious is ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round but nothing really to Still pull away early enough. on. Move, move! Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance Watch to start hook. to chuck something back at him a little. <gasps> Vicious's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Lynch him. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, I like the way he went to the body with that hook. Overhand right can be so effective. Work the body, kid. Body shot. 90 seconds to go in round number four. accurate hook at all. Vargas is having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal though right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting them off bounds. He's frustrating them a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spot. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, you make him pay. Yourself. <laughs> one, two, one, two. How about that left hand? That straight right unable to connect. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Vicious is looking really good after that round. Teddy, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a close fight, but I believe it's a fight that he's winning. Yeah, it's the kind of fight, though, that you can't afford to let up at all. Or do what you just said think that you're winning. He can't really think that way. He's got to think that he's got to take one round at a time. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen. 
Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Hook! Hook! And he clinches yet again. Vargas is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Unload! Unload! More punches! Focus! Jump on! Nice! Relax, relax. Unable to score with the hook. Solid left hand to the head. Uppercut. A solid uppercut by Vargas. Vicious is showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Not able to land the headshot. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Vargas. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place, and that is we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. The start of the sixth round. Vargas is out there for another round in a fight that he's been in complete control of so far. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Vargas is throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you... Oh, he Shake is stunned. He could go down. Hey, keep Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. Hey, keep your hands up. Work the body, kid. Body shot. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Go, 
halfway through round six. Well timed by Vargas. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly shot, what he wanted shot. to do. Locks that belt line well. Pace yourself. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. Uppercut, uppercut. Keep moving, keep moving. Vargas is rocked by a big shot there. What a wild round as both men have been affected. Hard to believe that they can keep up like that. One of those rounds that you just won't forget. Both guys able to land big punches on the other. Well, in the old days, they'd be snapping one of those capsules under their nose, you know, smelling salt, ammonia capsules. Not allowed anymore. They want to wake them up, get them together. Now you got to dump a little water on them, send them out. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep... Vargas is doing a good job of being strong on his feet right now. He was rocked in that last round, but his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage standing opposite him. Hook! Hook! Vargas has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you'd tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Halfway through the seventh round. Uppercut! Vargas is giving me the impression that he's not 100%. Now, we saw that he was stunned earlier, but the nonstop clinching, it really tells you where he stands. Yeah, it does because that's not his way. That has not been his makeup, his personality before. So you know something's not right right now, and his opponent is starting to understand that.
Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And this round comes to an end. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? We got it. Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. You don't need that, no, throw that away. That was good. You took a lot out of him that round. We got it. Keep that up. Keep your hands moving. Right. Keep busy. You don't need that. Throw that away. So we look at Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds that are complete here. This is a one-sided fight. Ah, you haven't seen the knockdowns from him, but you've seen everything else. Yeah, and that's really what's more important. I mean, everybody loves the knockdowns and the knockouts. Don't get me wrong. But what is really going to carry you is the jab, all those fundamental things. That's what's going to make you a champion if that's in your future. Good smooth work by Vargas. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he Keep pulled moving. that right Keep shoulder moving. back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Able to cover up that gut. <sighs> Vicious's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is. And specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. Oh. They're attached. Oh. They're up around his chin. That's his elbow's it. in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. He clinches when he gets to the inside. <laughs> Unload! Unload! More punches! <laughs> Vargas is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Focus! Not much action as he just ties up. Relax. 90 Relax. seconds to go, halfway through round eight. He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. You're still not moving enough. Boo, boo. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. This round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. But you got to let it go. Relax. The ninth round is here. Vicious has got a little hop in his step as he's ready to start this round. Oh. Oh. Left and right. Covers up nicely, right. gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Pace yourself. 
Blocks the headshot. Keep it up. Work the body, kid. Vargas is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Sweet science. Good work by Vargas. Yeah, real smart there. Making them miss, making them pay. Pace yourself. 90 seconds into the ninth round. He moved. Watch that. Vicious is well off the mark that time. <laughs> hook! Hook! Watch the hook! Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Able to dismiss that body shot. Vicious is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Finish with a hook. Focus. Come on, kid. Focus. Headshot lands was a hook. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. You see him holding on. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. That last round was a great example of the game plan by Vargas. They want to see clean and effective punching, just landing flush. They got it. Yeah, a lot on the back end. You know, he was stepping out, doing a lot of counter punching, allowing his opponent to do some of his work for him. Come in a little reckless and nail him. You heard it. Keep on him. Tenth and final round underway. That counter punch was very effective. He scored well. Nice work by Vargas. Vicious is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Get up, Good block there by Vargas. Gets rid of that body shot. to show you his blocking ability. Pace yourself. Vargas's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Work the 
He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Just a minute to go in this bout. Vicious has got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. A nice block by Vargas. Pace yourself. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Vargas is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. We said it early on, stylistically with this matchup, Hardly a chance that we would go to the judges' scorecards, but Teddy, that's exactly what's about to happen. Yeah, early on, you're right. It looked like it was going to be an explosion, but fizzled out a little bit. Here we are. A well-deserved win by Vargas. Unanimous decision, say the judges. You can have your eyes closed and see that one or almost close thanks for being with us everybody for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore have yourself a great night